So many people like to say, oh, I just, I just don't believe God is a loving God. And I'll tell you why. And you're like, I don't need to hear it. And they're like, no, I'll tell you. And you're like, okay, God, I know one person got it. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. You make me feel good about myself. It's true. That's how it is, though. Okay. They'll be like, I don't believe God is a loving God. Because if you just sin one sin against God, you can go to hell forever. Forever. And I don't believe that a loving God would send people to hell forever. How many people don't even believe there's a hell? He was just talking about the JWs, Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't even believe there's a hell. For that reason. They don't believe that a loving God would send people to hell. For us, this is as bad as it gets. For those who are in the Lord, this is as bad as it will ever get for you. But truly, there are some that even if they sin one time, they deserve hell. All of us do. He says the wages of sin is death. And God told us in Genesis, death is not just death physically, but death spiritually too. It says, he said, when you eat of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, in dying, you shall die. The original Hebrew is not just that you shall die, but in dying, you shall die. What? What does that mean? Yeah, you will die physically and you will die spiritually too. You will die a spiritual death. And we have all been grafted into the spiritual death. I love my little grandbaby, Ellie. But here's the thing. She's so little, and you don't think, oh, there's, there can't even be an ounce of evil in her. And yet you know she's going to come out sinning. As soon as she could talk, she's probably sinning already, and we don't even know it, right? I bet you Marissa could attest, right? She's like, can I get a witness? When she's crying all night, you're like, that is sin. Yeah. You see, we're born into these things. We're born into sin. Because Adam and Eve sinned originally in the garden. That has been passed down to every generation. Every single one of us, it's been passed down. But let me tell you the good news. God has made a way for each one of us to come to know him and to be in his presence forever. That way is Jesus Christ and him alone. He did it from even before the beginning. Look at Revelation. I love this verse. Love it. Revelation 13. Now, he's talking here about people who are going to take the mark of the beast, the Antichrist, at the end of the age, okay? But what he says at the end is what's telling, okay? Because he says this, those, this is what he's saying, those who take the mark of the beast are those whose names have not been written in the Lamb's book of life. Look at this. The Lamb who was slain from the creation of the world. So what is he saying there? He said, there's a lamb. Who's the lamb? Thank you. Jesus is the lamb. And he was slain before the creation of the world. So even though we celebrate his sacrifice from 2,000 years ago, God had already preordained him to die from the very beginning. So anyone that says, oh, God is not a good God, because he hasn't provided for us. He just sends people to hell. Look, God doesn't send people to hell. People choose to go to hell because God has made it so easy for us to be with him in heaven forever. All you have to do is say yes. It says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and you believe that God the Father has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's it. I wish it was harder. I, I really, my flesh wishes it was harder. Wishes I could do something to repay him for all he's done for me. But it's simple. Salvation is of him and him alone. It's him and him alone. He's taken the burden from the very beginning. Even before he created the people that he knew would sin, he made a way for them. 
to get to heaven and to be with him forever. Don't we have a loving God? Isn't that what a loving God does? People who say that God is not good and he's not loving, they don't know him. They don't know who he is. Because when you see him for who he really is, you understand that he really loves us.